You know what, uh, Valiant uh, has a new coach. He came from Hartshorn last year. And, um, he got a lot of kids out of the gym. I saw a lot, a lot of different athletes I've seen from last year and uh, well coached and played them at their house. And uh, it was a good game and come down to the end. And, and uh, I don't know the last time Kingston won a football game on a field goal. They don't happen very often in <laughs> Kingston, but uh, Trey Keats did a good job of getting the, getting the ball through the uprights and, and getting the win. But uh, Baton is much improved, and, uh, you know, I think that that program is going to keep getting better year in, year out. It's just that you were very stressed out <laughs> on that game. I was very stressed <laughs> out, and, uh, you know, it came down, like you said, we talked earlier, it, it came down to uh, us having to kick the field goal and then, we uh, we kick off and then we get the pick, kind of seal the deal. And, and uh, defense had to make a stand there. We did a good job, and of course uh, then we just had to kind of run the clock out to to finish it. But I was proud of the kiddos. All right, coach. This is maybe the last time we play in the deal for a while. So, what what's the history with the deal? How many games have we won and how many games have we lost? And Get I want to say we started this uh, back around uh, 1980. Uh, was the first time, and I'm not sure on the numbers, but around 1980 is the first time we started playing with Dill. So that's around 37 years in a row. Um, somewhere around eight to ten times we've been fortunate enough to beat Medill. So it's probably we won t around ten and lost around 30. So um, you know it's been tough. Uh, Medill's been a great opponent for us uh, over the years and and uh, I hate to see the rivalry go. Uh, they have to go up to 4A so they're going to try to schedule up a little bit I understand but I have a feeling that we'll be able to rekindle the uh, the rivalry here in the next few years as, as our school grows as well and and uh, hopefully that Medill will get them back on schedule here in the next three or four years. But the rivalry may be gone for now but it's not gone totally. That's what I, I feel like, and it, it might be more than three or four years, but anytime you have a uh, robbery that's uh, 37 years in the running, uh, it's, it's just hard to, it's hard to take because, uh, you know, we're eight miles apart from the deal. A lot of our people are akin to the, their people, and, and uh, everybody knows each other, and each year you get bragging rights for one year at Walmart every Saturday. So uh, we're, uh, we're hoping we come out and uh, do a good job. They've got the uh, Marshall County Super Bowl trophy with them since they beat us last year. Our kids are excited. Uh, it'll, I believe it's going to be a big crowd, uh, and there's going to be a lot of excitement in the air. I'm, I'm looking forward to a really good game. And explain how school gets to trip up another class for those that don't know. It's average daily attendance each year, and uh, it usually goes in in the spring. And uh, since football is a sport that you have to play a home and away, it's always a two-year cycle. And so every two years they'll uh, they'll redo the the uh, average daily attendance, and then they'll they'll get the uh, different school sizes from that. And Medill uh, definitely they're going up to 4A, and uh, we're staying in 2A, but. Uh, it's, you know, we just passed the bond issue. It was that excellent because our, our class sizes are growing as well, and, and I expect us to go up here in the near future. Which may be in a few years. It's, it's three or four years down the road for sure. So that means we'll be in 2A at least for a little bit longer in 3A in every other sport. Yeah, yeah we'll be in 3A uh, basketball, track, baseball, those sports. And, Football, we're in the second year of the cycle we're in, and then we'll be in 2A two more years after that. And of course, it'll change, you know, after that. So we're, we're going to be in 2A this year and two more years for sure going mm -hmm. on. This is John Gilroy, just in case you uh, didn't know. So, are you ready for the final matchup at least for a while against Mizzou? Yeah, I'm very excited about it. Um, you know, I went to school here in the early 80s as well as a young man in, in uh, junior high and played for Bulldog Henry and, and uh, we, uh, this has been a big game for years and years and, you know, they, you know, they're two and one coming in. So we're looking forward to a good game and they got a really good running back, um, number 21, that might be the best running back we've seen all year. So we're going to have to uh, definitely try to get him corralled and 
that's the main thing of the game is trying to keep him as minimal as we can. And uh, I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of excitement Friday night, and it's going to be a game to remember. So definitely our defense has a big test against them in order to stop the toughest running back. I agree 100%. You know, we've watched film, we've uh, went over our scout reports, we've, uh, everything basically revolves around having to stop the run game. Quarterback is a big, tall, 6'3", six, 6'4", six, lefty that throws the ball pretty good. That uh, is, uh, he, he throws it good enough to keep us honest in the back end. So, they're, uh, you know, they're going to be a formidable opponent. And, uh, but we've got we to find a way to stop their run first. And our defense has really been geared up this week to get that job done. So how many years has the trophy been in play? You know what, I'm not for sure about that because I've, I've been in and out of Kings the last 20 something years as a coach. I started here in 1994 and then I've been back and forth a couple of times, but uh, the trophy, I, it, I'm not for sure to be honest with you. I know that we've had it, we had it three years in a row and then we lost it last year and hopefully we'll get it back this year. So we've. We've uh, we've won the game three out of the last four years, and Medill was fortunate enough to get you know come over last year and get it back. But we're definitely uh, eyeing that trophy, and hopefully it'll be in our trophy case for as long as uh, this uh, delayed games takes place. We'll have it in our trophy case for the next three or four years at least. So for those that want to go to the game, how much does it cost to get in? You know what? I, I believe the uh, adult price is around six bucks, and uh, uh, the student is around three to four dollars, so um, I believe that's what the price is. And it, of course, it'll be at Medill this year. And, and uh, like I said earlier, uh, this being one of the final times that we play them, I'm expecting one of the biggest crowds that we probably played uh, against Medill in a long time. Game time is at 7:30 this Friday, right? 7:30 this Friday, and uh, it uh, I can't believe we're already in week four. <laughs> it's going by fast. And after the deal, you have an extra week to prepare for the district home opener. Well, actually, the next week uh, we'll play Stratford, um, and that'll be uh, the fifth game of the season. And then after that, we have a bye week, and we'll have a week off before we uh, play Tish, and then the big game against Davis. So we are we are really this season's just flying by right now. But we'll we'll play Stratford next week, first game of district. And uh, then it goes from there. And that was my fault. I forgot we played the deal, then Trevor, then, then the bye week. Bye week. And uh, that bye week gives us an opportunity to heal up any bumps or bruises we got and gives us an extra week to prepare for Tishomingo. And, and, uh, but, uh, you know, Stratford, first district game of the year, two years ago, they're state champions in Class A ball. And then last year they beat us. And, uh, you know, knocked us down a notch in the, in the district standings uh, as far as playoff implications. So that's a very big game for us. We're not overlooking Medill. We're, our focus this week is definitely on Medill Wildcats. But uh, after that, it starts our district play and uh, playoff implications. So you're hoping that you'll go to 4-0, but you don't want to count your chickens. Before they have it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not counting yet. I'll, I'll count them on Saturday. We'll see what happens. So we're there at 7.30 p.m. game time at the deal this Friday. Make sure, you'll, make sure you get there because this will be the last time we play in the deal for a while. This is John Kelly. I'm Tommy Zoom. And thanks for watching this episode of the Mostly Sports Room. This has been a keystone. Sportsbook Guessing Production. Thank you.